Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to another episode of Forager. In the last episode, we unlocked the alchemy skill, and we also unlocked the recipe for these branch new bombs. This might actually be my favorite way to go mining now. There is something just so satisfying about placing one of these bombs down and watching it explode. Every last one of our resources. Okay, sir. Oh no, it looks like we just barely missed him with that bomb. It's a little bit easier to trap these guys when they're stuck against the... Oh no, did he disappear? You know, I don't think we actually defeated that skeleton. I'm pretty sure that it may have disappeared as soon as the daytime ticked over, so that's kind of disappointing. But regardless, these bombs are excellent. They're a great way for us to gather all of our resources at once. And we also have our fiery pickaxe now. It essentially does the same thing, but at a bit of a slower rate. It sets the resources on fire, so once it's done burning, then we can collect the rewards. Just for the sake of science now. I'm wondering if anything special would happen if we placed a bomb next to this shrine right here. It seems like our fiery pickaxe still isn't doing the trick. So since the bombs worked on those other statues on the other side of the world, let's see if anything special happens if we set this one ablaze. It should hopefully gather up all of these resources too. Yeah, and unfortunately that did basically nothing to the shrine. I'm still wondering if maybe we need a sword of some sort, so maybe we should unlock the combat skill next. In fact, since we have one extra skill point, let's go ahead and do that straight away. It's pretty easy for us to gather skill points now too thanks to these bombs. So combat is over here inside the magical room. It unlocks swords and it increases our dodge chance by 15% too, so it's definitely going to be worth it. So that has unlocked the frost strike. Attacks have a 50% chance to freeze enemies and it unlocks spirit crystals. That's awfully suspicious. The frost strike. That almost reminds me of some of the potion names. The wisdom drought, the mandragora, the thunder strike. I wonder if this is going to be like the frost strike then. I would assume it probably summons a big lightning bolt. I think we were actually working on making a whole bunch of those bottles to catch some more bugs. So maybe we can try that in this episode too. Oh, and our next pickaxe is the crystal pickaxe. We need a royal steel, plastic, and tons and tons of crystal, of course. Interesting. I don't think we have a way to make either of these yet. So we definitely need to focus on our industry route. I haven't seen one of those rude boys in a while. All right, well, it shouldn't be so hard for us to take care of you this time. Yeah, with the dodging on our side, we'll be able to take care of you with ease. And it even cooks the meat too, thanks to our fiery pickaxe, so that is definitely a plus. Oh, we better look up the sword that we just unlocked too. Would that be over here in the forge? Yeah, I must have missed that. So the bone sword is first. Oh, we can make that for sure. Iron ingots and bones, and we have bones aplenty. So while well, that's working, maybe we should go down to the druid's hut. If we could just clear a quick pathway through your trees here by burning them down real quick. I know that's probably not very happy to you. We'll go into your house and we'll see if we can find those vampire wings that we unlocked. We actually found them inside a chest in the previous episode. So let's see if it's something we can put on. Yeah, vampire wings. We're definitely going to have to take off our backpack to see them, though. They're a little bit smaller than the fairy wings. They're still pretty cute, though. I think we could probably find a pretty good combination to use. We'll change our body back to basic for now, just so we can see all the different options. We could use the plantera hat. Ooh, that hat actually matches the little spikes on the wings quite well. We could be a flying old man if we wanted to. For that matter, the fedora looks pretty good too. A fancy vampire. And the Cthulhu head. That one pretty much fits the look to a T. Alright, I think this is what we'll go for today. A nice fancy look for our brand new fancy wings. And hopefully the hat will help keep the desert sun out of our eyes too. I think that's still going to be my plan for today. We have plenty of gold in our pockets, so let's see if we can unlock some brand new areas to the desert side of our world. Afterwards, I think we'll probably go to the south to see what all of this strange smog is about. You guys seem pretty interested in seeing that too. So if we could just burn a quick pathway through all of these resources here and definitely make sure that we grab some more of that coal. Maybe a couple of our pieces of cooked meat. Now we should be ready to pick up our brand new sword. The bone sword. So 50% more damage to enemies. Alright, not bad. 
I wonder if this is going to be better than just using our pickaxe. If we could find some enemies to test it out on. Oh no, is that our sheep? Wait a second, little guy. How on earth did you get all the way down here? Our poor sheep. He probably can't make his way back to his home up here because it's so crowded in by all these resources. Well, I would use one of our bombs, but I know for sure that's going to blow you up too. So we're going to be super careful. Let's grab a little bit of extra gold from our bank as well. We should probably think about building a few more of these, actually. It seems like they're really helpful. Now with our sheep finally free, I guess we should probably just test it out on these slimes right here. Yes. Yeah, so how much damage do we do with one hit? Alright, not that bad. To be honest, it's kind of just like our pickaxe right now, but that's probably because we have a much more upgraded pickaxe in our sword. Maybe we should even check and see how much it takes to upgrade the sword itself. We'll get rid of you. And what's next on our list? The golden sword. Oh, we need tons of steel for that, but everything else is definitely in our reach. So let's go ahead and see if we can smelt up some extra steel. Four pieces of steel right now. That's probably because I've used so much of the iron to make the bombs, unfortunately. Um, with our lack of coal, that is going to be pretty tricky. Well, at least we still have a few more bombs on our side. So if we see a nice big deposit of coal anywhere, then we know what to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and lock a new bar of land. We'll clear out a little bit of this wood over here, and then we should be able to set ourselves up. I think the land to the north of this place was a little bit cheaper, right? So we want to make sure that we have a clear pathway to get there. Maybe not too clear though, just in case there are some pretty nasty enemies there too. Alright, so 900 gold, 960. Let's go with this one first. Okay, it looks like it opened up another strange sort of temple. Kind of like the tower that we have in our graveyard. Hopefully that doesn't mean that we're going to have more riddles to solve because that is my weakness. I do not like riddles. Alright, so let's go inside. What is this place? The ancient tomb. Alright, it looks like this is more of a puzzle for us to solve, so no riddles involved. Well, this strange glowing block down here is very, very intriguing. What can we do with you? Oh, we can push you around? And we can pull you too. Okay. It looks like I kind of pushed it in the wrong direction. Well, I'm guessing we probably have to have this reach this thing over here. This strange pillar. It's probably going to power the doors, actually, so we can go a little bit further. Yeah, there we go. As long as it's touching this current, we can move on. Ooh, is that an enemy? Wait a second. Well, it's something. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, calm down. Yeah, that was definitely an enemy. Oh no, and our inventory is full now too. Of all the times. Do we have some extra rocks? Oh my gosh, I wonder if we had too many rocks inside our vaults. Well, we might as well just go ahead and delete these then. Yeah, go ahead and get these out of our inventory so we can pick up this iron ingot right here. Maybe it would be a good idea for us to go back just to clear out our pockets. Ah, uh, but we've gotten so far. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and continue, my little marshmallow. You can do it. We'll figure it out as we go. Is there anything else that we can do with these torches, though? No, those are staying lit. Okay. So it seems like they definitely need to be. I wonder if that means that they could go out at any point. We'll have to come back and inspect it later. Let's go to the left first. Alright, so we have another couple of statues here. Another couple of these currents to open the doors. But interestingly enough, it doesn't look like we have, oh my goodness, any of those blocks. So I'm guessing we have to find them somewhere else. Those things had lasers, so let's be very careful here. Alright, there's the blocks. Yeah, and it looks like they charge up their lasers and then they shoot. Are they going to stop though? Oh my goodness. Maybe we have to hide ourselves behind these bricks? it definitely doesn't seem like they're going to stop shooting. Yeah, I think that actually hit us. Okay, well that's going to be tricky. Maybe we should have brought a bow. Well, good thing we have plenty of meat in our pocket. It looks like we're going to have to use it to gather a few more of those hearts. Should we just make a run for it? Like, I don't know if using these bricks is going to be enough. I guess we'll try to get as far as we can. Oh, 
they're powering up these things. Okay. Well, let's get rid of you then before we go any further. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, so I'm guessing that we still have to push this thing all the way up to the next room though. We still need to make sure that it opens up the doors that we found before. So we'll scoot you along. Now, which door should we open first? I guess at this one? Yeah, let's see what's inside this room. Okay, another one of you. It doesn't look like that one is being powered up by anything though. All right, so maybe we just have to hit it really quickly, like before it actually starts shooting us. One more hit. There we go. That was a little bit risky. Thankfully, it looks like we have some fairies though, so we can use that to heal ourselves too. All right, so we have another one of these door switches. So it looks like we're going to have to find yet another one of those cubes. Maybe on this side instead. Let's push this over here this time and we'll see what's waiting inside the store. There we go. All right. Be careful, my little marshmallow. You never know what's going to be waiting here. Ooh, this is interesting. I wonder if maybe we're supposed to pull this? If we pull it straight down the current? No, it looks like once it gets too far away from the switch, it actually turns off. I was wondering if maybe we could push it onto this one instead. We definitely need to open this up before we can get to that chest though, right? Like if we burn away at this resource right here. Yeah, we can't scoot through this thing. And we definitely can't scoot on the side either. All right, so let's see what's on the other side of this strange door. In fact, yeah, there's no way for us to interact with this thing. So we must have to activate a different switch somewhere else. Any more of those? Oh my goodness. Strange things. Ooh, that's one of those flowers. Okay, what can we get rid of next? You know, I just realized that these bombs probably would have come in quite handy against those things with the lasers. Maybe we'll try that next time instead. I guess for now, let's just go ahead and get rid of our animal poop. Like, I can't see us really needing fertilizer in this situation. Cinder blooms, okay. Yeah, we definitely need those for the museum. And I'm sure that we need them for good recipes too. So let's scoot around these big spiky blocks. Ooh, we can actually get to these treasure chests. We have all sorts of precious gemstones that unfortunately we can't pick up. All right, so it looks like whatever we find here can't be taken to our vaults. We have to actually put them in our pockets. So let's go ahead and eat some different type of food. Something else that we could clear out instead. I guess for now, the berries. It takes quite a bit to fill up our hunger, but I don't think we need those anymore. So we'll come back for you later after we hopefully have a little bit more room in our pockets to spare. I wonder if we can come back later too to pick up these things, like if they're actually going to stay there. And there's literally nothing in this room. That's excellent. Go ahead and pick up your hot peppers because it looks like that's all you're getting here. All right, so there's something off this way. Ooh, geez. Oh, so those things are actually giving us a little electric current too. So we just have to wait for it to pass by. All right, and here's our other switch. So if we could find a way to scoot you up there somehow, right in between these blocks, so we can bring you up to this switch instead. There we go. Now we can pass through easily. How are we going to get this thing though? Hmm. I wonder if we have to bring that other switch from the left room. Yeah, because we definitely need both of these open. Like again, there's no way for us to just move it to the other side. We can push it over here, but any further, and I think it's going to turn off everything. Yeah, so we have to have it pretty close to the switches like we figured before. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just go and find one of our other switches instead. Bring it all the way over here. We probably don't need you keeping that open right now. Can we even push it through the door? Okay, there we go. I was a little bit worried for a second that it was going to fall into the void or something. So if we can very delicately start pushing you through these spiky blocks. There we go, almost there. Now we should be safe. We just have to scoot you down here and I think we should be able to get you to the other current. All right, so this is going to open up this area. Oh no, but we still need another one. All right, do we have access to any more of these? Any more that we can actually bring over here? 
I'm not sure if we do. Maybe we have this one, but we definitely can't push it through without getting ourselves stuck. So there must be something we're missing. All right, well, for now, let's just see what's on this side of the screen. It doesn't seem like we're going to find another one of those blocks over here, but at least there's still a chest. There we go, that's our pathway open. So are we going to find some more of those precious gemstones in here? Yeah, it looks like another emerald for our troubles. But unfortunately, there aren't any more doors on this side. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. Yeah, I wonder what we're missing. It really seems like we have to find some sort of way to bring this block up. Maybe if we just pull it? Is that possible? Like, can we just quickly pull it through? Come on, little guy. Did we get it? But now we're going to be trapped here, huh? Wait a second, did I just trap us in here forever? Surely not. Surely there is another way for us to get out. There must be another exit somewhere. You better hope so, Mr. Marshmallow Man. I do not want our story to end here. I mean, they wouldn't let you pull it through the wall if it would get you stuck here forever, right? There's gotta be another way. Maybe it's actually through this giant door here. Once we get all of these blocks through to the other side, maybe we'll finally have a way to open it. All right, here we go. Our third and final lucky block. Let's pull it down to the bottom here and see what's on the other side. All right, it looks like another door of some sort. Maybe it'll open once we take out all of these creatures again. Oh my goodness. Okay, a little bit more aggressive than they were last time. Let's plant a bomb right in the middle of the room and run away. That should take care of them. There we go. Not bad at all, and it looks like it did actually open up that door. Let's just go ahead and munch on a few more of our berries over here, just in case. All right, anything inside this one? Ooh, a skull key. All right, so we have to drag another one of our blocks through this way. Well, let's go ahead and grab you then. We'll pull you through the same way that we did the other one. Yep, there we go. Straight through the wall like last time. So if we can scooch you right through this door, we should be able to grab the skull key. And I'm sure I know exactly where this leads. Yeah, that has to go to the store right here. All right, so how much do you want to bet there's going to be some sort of boss on the other end? The Thunder Elemental? Oh, my little marshmallow, I do not know if you're ready for this. Go ahead and plant the bomb and stand right on the edge there. Yeah, that didn't really do very much damage. Dodge 10 attacks? Well, there you go. That gave us some sort of body. You know, you're not doing too bad. If we keep using the fiery pickaxe, I think it's going to keep burning the enemy too. Maybe we should just go ahead and very quickly munch on a little bit of extra cooked meat. Yeah, we probably should have thought about bringing some of our bottled fairies to this fight. Oh no, and these things are getting involved too. Let's get rid of you very quick before you start zipping around on us. All right, little guy, keep going. Keep dodging as much as you can. Oh no, not those things. Those things are terrible. Oh, they are going to zap away all of your life if you're not careful. Okay, we have one more heart left. Go ahead and eat those quickly. Oh, there are way too many enemies now. Okay, get rid of this guy as fast as you can. Oh no. Dungeon failed. Oh, we were so close. Oh, that is so disappointing. I know it's only because we didn't have enough weapons on our side, though. If we had some sort of ranged weapon, I think we would have been okay. Yeah, honestly, just a bow over here probably would have done the trick. We never did actually make the bow either. So why don't we see if we can go ahead and do that before we go back inside. The short bow, yeah, we definitely have enough for it, too. I guess we'll probably want to craft some more arrows, though, because we definitely don't have enough of those. And we'll also want to make sure that we have a little bit of extra space inside our inventory, too. We'll go ahead and tuck all of these iron ingots away. And it looks like we have our steel available as well. Yeah, we have quite a bit clogging up the inventory right now. In fact, maybe we should just go ahead and sell off some of our extra resources. That way we'll have the space for the new things. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Back for round two, I see. Let's go ahead and use our actual bone sword this time, I guess. There we go. No trouble whatsoever. If only the elementals were as easy to take down. All right, and there's our brand new short bow. Shoots arrows from your inventory. Hold down attack to draw and release to shoot. Sounds easy enough. And unfortunately, we only have a one arrow. So we better make this count. 
Yeah, let's just use it to see how this works. If we could find another one of those slimes, maybe? Any slime at all? Really? Did we take them all down? Okay, here's the slimes. Yeah, let's see... Oh, jeez. See if you can shoot him. There we go. Kill an enemy with a single arrow shot. Did that give us a little sombrero? Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I wonder if maybe there's some upgrades to the bows, though. Something to make them even more powerful. Yes, it looks like it works just like our swords and whatnot. So the skull bow, we just need some leather for that. We could probably do that right away, too. Yeah, I think we're really going to want to try our best to upgrade our tools before we go back inside. Though I'm curious to see if everything is going to still be there, or if it completely reset all of our progress. Yeah, you know what? While that's hard at work, let's just sneak back inside to see what it looks like now. I am going to be so bummed if we have to do that all again. Okay. Okay, mister. Yet another one of the skulls. They are very aggressive today. Alright, so how does it look in here? No, it's been reset to the beginning! Alright, well at least everything looks exactly the same, so we know what to do next time. Yeah, my plan is to upgrade our bow, upgrade our sword maybe, and definitely make some more of those bombs. It seems like a good way for us to clear out the rooms at least, and especially once the elemental starts summoning some more of the enemies. The smaller ones are the ones that really get me. I wonder if maybe we could even find some more of those special orbs? The ones that gave us the extra health points. That would be super helpful, too. Oh my gosh, look at the mess over here. I see we have another pumpkin in the corner, but we're going to have to break our way through first. Gathering these pumpkins has been no easy task. But you know, on the plus side, at least we didn't lose all the things that we gathered inside. Like, we still have the cinder bloom, which is super, super good. So hopefully that means that we can actually find more cinder blooms inside the desert. And you know, in fact, since the tomb was a bit of a bust, let's see if we can buy that other bar of land tomb. We'll just go ahead and very quickly start upgrading our skull bow before we forget. And yeah, let's buy the second bar of land, the one to the south of this area. I feel like we deserve something else for our troubles. Oh no. Don't you even tell me. More of these elementals? Really? Well, at least it shouldn't be too hard for us to get rid of those if we make a few more of those bombs, but I thought we were done with them. You know, it may have actually helped us out if we unlocked this before the area to the north, then at least we would have had some idea of what was going on inside that tomb. Well, let's go grab some bombs, my little marshmallow. Or your bow. Arrows now burn targets. All right, so just like our fiery pickaxe. That is going to be very, very helpful too. Next is the crystal bow, and we just need some more steel for that, just like the crystal pickaxe. Interesting. But yeah, we are definitely going to need some more arrows. At least that's a pretty good way for us to get rid of all of the stone. So half would be 212 arrows. Yeah, I think that's probably enough to at least take down the enemies to the south there. And you know what? Let's make sure that we're bottling up some of these fairies again, too. We're definitely going to need them to heal ourselves during that battle. I guess we'll probably want to consider making another one of these forges if we want to actually make some bottles, because this is going to take a long, long time to finish. Let's see if we can at least take down a few of those elementals. We probably don't even have to build a bridge to get to them. Yeah, because they can definitely get to us. There we go. I think you can just barely see that he's starting to burn down there. Actually, that's taking these down pretty quick. Oh, and we can even shoot the resources too. Oh my gosh, they give us steel? Oh, no way. So shooting these elemental things might actually be an easier way for us to gather steel. Excellent. Now we can upgrade our bow again, too. Well, let's just build our quick little bridge down here so we can scoot down and hopefully take care of the rest. Can we shoot them from here, too? Yes, excellent. And they can't even reach us from here. All right, this is much, much better. Now these elementals don't seem quite so menacing. It's still going to be a little bit tricky to take care of the boss because we're in such an enclosed room, so there's not many places to run and hide. Did we really have the exact amount of arrows? Oh my gosh. Your luck is turned around, little guy. Well, we'll go ahead and craft a quick little bridge over to the chest as well, 
and then we'll see if we can unlock that tube before we end the episode. Or not. Yep, I definitely just locked ourselves out of our forge thanks to all of those arrows. Alright, well let's make a few of these bricks really quick, and then we'll make another forge too. I'm kind of nervous about upgrading our pickaxe though. Like this fiery pickaxe makes it so easy to gather resources. If the crystal pickaxe takes that away, I think I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. I know we'll still have our bombs, but it's nice to use this too. And there's our nice big key. So let's go ahead and see what reward is waiting down here. If we can't have the reward at the end of the dungeon, then at least we can have this. Oh, a quiver. Bows don't consume arrows. Oh my gosh, you guys. Do you realize how many arrows I just made? Oh, my little marshmallow man. What have we gotten ourselves into? And the forage is literally still making arrows over here. It is a complete waste now. I mean, can we at least sell our arrows? Maybe then it wouldn't be a waste. If the arrows are still in our inventory, yeah, and they're worth four gold apiece. So I guess that's not a complete loss. We'll go ahead and collect our money from the bank, try to clear our way through all of these trees too. And then we'll just very, very quickly sell every last one of our arrows. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we don't have to have a single arrow in our inventory anymore. That is crazy. Seriously, what are the odds of that? Well, I think we have learned a few good things in this episode. We've learned about tombs, and hopefully we've learned how to successfully conquer that boss in the next episode. I'll make sure to gather up a whole bunch of resources, so hopefully we can upgrade our sword, we can upgrade our pickaxe, and we can definitely make lots and lots of bombs. Combat is something that we haven't really focused on yet in this series, so it seems like our little marshmallow is going to have to learn fast. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!